So, welcome back to Fishing with A Train. I had to turn this, this last video into a uh, two part video. Uh, the, I started editing and it was just getting too long. So, I had to break it into two parts. And uh, this is going to be part two. Hope y'all enjoy. Let me know what you think. Right here where my line's at, right that fish just jumped. There you go. I don't know if it followed it or not. What about that, Joe? Uh -uh. If uh I got that on you catching that one on camera if you don't mind me using that footage. Uh, as long as you make me sound like a debonair guy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, I had one follow it just then. I should have slowed it down a little bit. Decent little smallie. First large mouth I've got today. Oh, yeah? Yep. A little bit large mouth. That gives me a grand slam. No small mouth. Dude, I threw over there and he just shot across the top of the water and just took it as soon as it hit. Oh, and he threw a crawfish up in my lap. Look at that. He just threw it up in my lap. Now, why is my not working? I don't know. Nice little smallmouth bass. Well, no, no, not really a nice one, but a little smallmouth bass nonetheless. Out here in the Washita River. Still doesn't make up for the one I lost earlier. But it's the biggest one of the day. I can't say it's definitely like my PB, like the one earlier would have been, but that's a fatty though. Nice smallmouth bass. That's what we come after. It ain't as big as the one I lost earlier today, but it's a good one. Good smallmouth bass. You got the chartreuse and blue in there. Yep. Chartreuse. It's got a red flake in it though. 
Oh, I think this is the uh, the bold bluegill is the name of the color, I think. All the stuff's worn off the package, so I can't tell <laughs> for sure. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Which is one of the one of my favorite colors of the robo worms. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that when there's not a lot of wind. I thought he might be a, might go for a little more weight just because his belly was so fat. I'm still looking to break the two pound mark on smallmouth. See why it's one of my favorite colors? Another little smallmouth bass, not as big as that last one, but a good one, fun one. Got another one. Another little smallmouth bass. Turn them up out here on the Ouachita River. Oh, there's two of them. bass I wish I'd have hooked the one he was running with instead of this one is a little bit bigger it's always the way it goes there we go another nice little spotted bass pretty little dude That's a good one there. Oh, I had another one right there with him about the same size. I don't know, you might have me beat. Uh, I caught in that stretch I was just talking about where I was doing good at I caught another one about this size Whew. all right that's a good way to end the day right there Whew. another nice little smallmouth bass out here on the Washita River today be the last one of the day the pullouts just right there behind us and uh be honest I'm about ready to get off the river today it is hot I'm ready to get the AC going in the truck. Let's get a picture of this dude. There he's got him one. A little, what is it, green sunfish?
So we just just pulled off the river out here, drag over today. Pretty good day out here. Caught a caught a bunch of fish, a couple of nice smallmouth. Got that uh, good one right there at the end. Nice way to close the day out. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Till next time. Thanks for fishing with A Train.